Hello folks, Andy here and welcome back on more Potemkin. Just going to uh, start doing a bit on blunt end here, back end of the bow because uh, this is my engine covers at the moment. So, all we've got <laughs> is some 8B2s, something like that, that's covering the engine. And I need to alter it all here. So, I'm going to remove all this timber and the frame, uh, all the back here. The uh, most old controls on this boat are old, and you have a, a reverse and forward lever and, an, and the uh, accelerator lever there. So, you have to work both of them. So, we're going to swap that put it onto a single more so like every boat has really so you're not jiggling about between two levers make life a lot easier and uh, this is just uh, nonsense for what we want now because uh, don't stop any smells all coming from the engine just goes throughout the boat but it's an empty shell now anyway so we're making to a proper uh, engine bay so and uh, we're going to widen this hatch door hatch uh, so we're going to walk in through the, the doors onto the uh, the landing there and then step down this side and I'll once or twice step down we'll see what what heights we've got foot rises and goings and then uh, you'll step down and into the boat here the door into the cabin over here instead of in the middle as it was on the old boat and having it there because from there to there that's going to be a bulkhead and the bed's going to be uh, that side of it and probably cupboards on here like a wardrobe or something so we need to uh, remove all this what's here now so all that's coming out We'll plate this in with steel, we'll get to channel in, make a frame and it'll be it'll be a removal one. I'll use nuts and bolts. And, uh, so to access the engine should we need to. The engine is coming out and uh, it's getting a service. So um, you know like a recon on it. It's uh, I don't think there's anything particularly much wrong with the engine, there is a bit of a leak on it but nothing on toward really and then all the back here will be the um, will be controls, your inverter and everything's going in here uh, what they call the accumulator possibly put the accumulator in here for the water and also what we have what we have down here at the moment is the battery box so, I've got a new starter battery in here and it's got two leisure batteries which are just on because uh, the, um, what do you call it, the bilge pump, I've just got the bilge pump wired into those, you know, just in case. So, there'll be a matter of removing everything here, that's a book sheet, that's gone. Uh, there'll be all new, um, you know, proper in, in, uh, proper battery box built in. So uh, I don't know, but probably that's it. I don't know. Wherever we'll make it up as we go along. But uh, so it'll be all new leads, everything. I've got a large. Well, I know, did I get another four leisure batteries? Quite large leisure batteries. So we'll have at least four batteries, maybe another couple of leisure batteries and proper solar set up. So it's, um, we can, uh, well mainly in the summertime, isn't it? you know, you get your free electric. Got two solar panels on now. It, uh, and they used to do the job of charging the leisure batteries up. I had three leisures in there and one start and it, uh, it used to cope with it all right. So we're going to remove all this now anyway and we'll have a look at the old engine. <laughs> Uh, we'll use the old faithful reciprocating saw 
Whereas it's waiting gold these things. So we have to cut down here, get that board off at back, and uh, we'll take the uh, cool one tank off there. And then everything else is just like passing over that. We'll get that out of the way. So I'll take the top off here so I've got something to stand on while I do that. If you take something out and there's nails stuck up, like that one, knock them in, they'll still end up in your hands or your feet or something. And these, there's one on the other side, I'll show you in a second, they will lay the long on the swim. Sorry, on the counter above the swim, right, and then that timber was on top as a base for these planks. So they're all cast iron, like breathers, the ventilation plates. So when I put the new stuff in here, seal it will incorporate that, and also going to cut some uh, in the side there. You can actually see the scars of where there once was external breathers. So you know you have a either side you have like louvered plates so the engine can breathe through them and uh, it smells away also from the engine. So all this stuff is going in. It's a nice old cast iron that. Cost a few bob for one of them nowadays. Right, so that's the old header tank that was on the back wall. Uh, it's empty. It never used to work anyway because they put the water straight into the, uh, the, the top of the heat exchanger. So we'll get that out of the way. Right, we'll have a look in the engine bay. So along there was where that uh, ventilation plate was. And you can see it on that side, another nice cast iron one there. So that'll be out in a minute. And then uh, we'll get them all clean up. I get them blasted. And uh, we'll get some ammonite on them and they'll be built into the new uh, steelwork in here. So in the engine, I've now got this stuff here attached along here. Uh, there's only a few fittings on there, a few fixings. We'll have that out. And uh, I've got a leak down there. Found out where the water leak is. You can see a bit of water in the bottom there in bilge. So we'll have that pumped out as well once I get get this uh, rest of wood off. Thought to go tell Sophia this timber off. It was the old camera. She's taking things apart nowadays with cameras. It's easy, just film what's in there before you take it apart. There's a good chance that you can know it all in the back.
so that should do it. Full service in there. And when one of these new steels in and everything, it can go back. Isolator switches out. Oh, take old tells off here, this turn it off. Who's the old camera? She's taking things apart. Nowadays, with cameras, it's easy. Just film what's in there before you take it apart. There's a good chance that you can know it all the back. Right, we'll have these cables and pipes off. took it out. I can't reuse that. I'm going to put it through plain and make something with it. There's a lot of oil in it, impregnated in it off of the engine of it. There's a lot of crud and that. There's also nails so it's scrap really going up on a, it can be burnt that on a hot burner. That's where that's going. So it could be used but uh, I can't smash planer blades for a bit of timber like that. So, I'll look at this leak now. Right, this leak here that seems to be on this elbow has given a fair bit of water in the bottom there. So swap the vacuum of it to a wet vacuum and we're going to get rid of all that and uh, we'll then try and have a look see if we can stop that leak. step down from the outside so at this height we'll step down probably about six inches or something eight inches we'll step down to platform this will be one height along here we'll step down to that and then we'll put steel in and we'll make a frame up here to the back and then another step down onto this uh, top of the swim here. 
and then the door will be here from there to there here though so the door is going to go there like that so we we'll step down step down probably we'll step down again three risers and then uh, step down into the onto the uh, onto the uh, floor here and uh, this battery box comes out that's going to be you know of the batteries either built in that side or that side I don't know one of the two we'll make it up so that's about it for today and uh, you can see what we've got better now anyway so we can see you just need some steel get some steel in some plate and I'll start fabbing this in to stump job here and uh, make a proper job of it as I say in Cornwall right that's it for today folks it's a bit different than it did a couple of hours ago so that's just starting again now plate all this lot in I don't know lots to do ain't there so we'll call it today uh, we'll see what we can make of it but, uh, we'll make it up as we go along okay to our